Thanks, Doug. Well, new today at 430, Pennsylvania lawmakers postponed action today on legalizing table games in Pennsylvania's casinos. Governor Ed Rendell is frustrated. The issue is still unresolved, and he warns there could be more program cuts and layoffs without that legislation. And now a provision in the bill to extend lines of credit to gamblers is drawing fire. Eyewitness News reporter Jim Osmond is live in the news center with all the details on this one. Jim. Hi, Susan. It's a reality for some gamblers. You've maxed out the credit card drained your debit card and turned to the house for a little help. The legislation would add table games at Pennsylvania's casinos, but there's a provision tucked in the bill that has anti-casino advocates outraged. We really don't know how the casinos could possibly defend this. Gamblers exhausting their own debit and credit cards could turn to the casino. The casino would have the option to offer a credit line to gamblers. It's predatory lending. Uh, and it's really, we think, an egregious example of predatory lending. Three, two, ah! The legislation would impact the Sugar House Casino under construction in the Fishtown neighborhood and the planned Foxwood Casino in South Philadelphia. Bill Kearney, who lost everything he had because of his gambling habit at Atlantic City Casinos, remembers using credit and how he felt. Well, I had no other choice because I'm in what's called the chase now. Okay, I'm trying to win back my losses. Kearney wants the casinos, if they are allowed to issue credit, to be forced to issue gambler statements detailing how much they borrowed and what they've won or lost. He says he wants gamblers to be faced with what financial damage they could be causing to their families because he understands how out of control the habit can get. You're up against the wall. You're going to borrow, bake, steal, rob. You're going to do everything under the sun. Okay, let's break it down for you. We called the Pennsylvania Casino Association but did not hear back before our broadcast. The House vote on the expansion of legalized gambling includes the credit line issue that was delayed today. Democratic leaders gave conflicting reasons, but members were told not to expect to be called back to Harrisburg for a vote until next week. Live in the News Center, Jim Osman, CBS 3, Eyewitness News. That is worth uh, taking a very close look at. Jim, thank you very much.